Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a large storm that'll be bringing a fairly large area of severe weather over the next few days. This will bring the risk for damaging winds, large to very large hail, and perhaps a few tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll begin with the central plains and you might notice there's a lot of convection on the infrared imagery this morning and that is all due to a large area of showers and storms throughout Oklahoma this morning we've been seeing a lot of damaging wind potential along with even a little bit of large hail even near the Oklahoma City area now this is all going to start weakening over the next several hours and this is the precursor to what we'll see later today in terms of severe weather because we could actually see another small scale severe weather outbreak later today and I'll talk about more on that in just a moment and then back over to the west we currently have a very large heat dome in place you'll notice on the infrared imagery there's hardly any clouds in sight and because of the jet stream being so lifted off to the north we are seeing a large area of heat and as well as dry air dominating across the southwest united states record-breaking temperatures in many areas phoenix arizona in the low 110s so very hot over that direction obviously make sure you're staying cool and staying indoors as much as possible back over in the southeast and as well as the east coast we have some shower and storm activity pretty typical for this time of the year but over the next few days we'll watch a system move into this area that'll bring the risk risk for some severe storms across a fairly large area on the east coast and again i'll show you more on that later in this forecast so make sure you stay tuned all right let's talk more about the jet stream and see what's happening here because it's been very interesting over the last few days again we have a very very hot area of weather ongoing across much of the united states but the big reason why is because of the jet stream and where it's positioned so as of right now the jet stream is essentially right here it's going to be where that purple and as well as the pink and blue area is that's where our jet stream's located we have a low pressure system in the upper level Levels. that's all the way back up into Canada this is playing a little bit of a factor into the weather that we're seeing in the United States and then back over in the southern plains and anywhere really in the southern tier of the United States there's really not much activity it's all dry and warm air for the most part here but the high pressure system that we're really talking about is all the way back down into the Pacific Ocean and what this is essentially doing is bring warmer and drier weather to a large chunk of the country and the biggest area that's being impacted by that right now is the closest area to the high pressure system which is the southwest United States where again we're seeing record-breaking temperatures and as we go throughout the next few days into Saturday Sunday and Monday that high pressure system that heat dome continues to build across the southwest United States and then back over on the eastern half of the United States back over in the Midwest even we'll have that trough start to kind of deepen a little bit and build in to the eastern half of the United States and that'll start to increase the risk for severe weather and showered storm activity for many across the eastern half of the United States so that'll be something to watch for there but this heat dome doesn't end there as we go into next week it's going to continue to move off to the east into areas like the southern plains and this will continue to pull very warm and even humid air out of the Gulf of Mexico which you might think humid air that should equivalent to some showers and storms it's not in this instance we're gonna be watching more for just really really warm and humid air that'll create very high heat indices as high as 115 maybe even 120 in some areas across areas like Texas and even Oklahoma and once we go into later next week things become more uncertain but as of right now it doesn't seem like this heat dome is moving really anywhere over the next week so it's gonna be very brutal in terms of the heat so make sure again you're staying cool and staying indoors as much as possible now this is what it looks like on the temperature anomaly just to kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about here all that red is representing the heat and as we go into next week it's essentially just going to continue to sit here across the southern half of the United States the only area that will really see relief is back up into Canada and as well as the Midwest where we could see a trough start to dip down that might bring some cooler weather but overall that heat is really not leaving the southern tier of the United States anytime soon and in addition to that the humidity is going to be brutal the southwest United States is dealing with very dry air so that's not really a concern there in terms of heat indices but if you're in the southern plains you're dealing with very high heat indices it might even feel warmer than phoenix arizona in some instances as we go throughout the weekend and as well as into early next week that humidity again not going anywhere so again i cannot stress this enough make sure you're staying indoors as much as possible especially if you have respiratory issues all right let's talk more about the severe weather potential for today we have a fairly large risk of severe weather but the main focus today will be in the southern plains and as well as parts of kansas and colorado this is where we're watching for all modes of severe weather the main concern though for today is is damaging winds and large hail so let's show you that damaging wind potential which by the way today is flying fences friday so we could see some of that here across
across the southern plains in addition to that some flying trampolines are possible so definitely make sure again you're hatching down trampolines but overall again the damaging wind potential is primarily focused across western oklahoma and as well as parts of the texas panhandle and as well as parts of southern kansas this is where we're watching for the highest damaging wind threat today we could see damaging winds as high as 80 miles per hour in a scattered sense of things so again not everybody will see severe weather but those that do it could be rather significant with damaging winds as high as 80 miles per hour there's a hatched area as well for large to very large hail this does mean there's a chance for hail exceeding two inches in diameter so make sure you're prepared for that today that could very well pose some serious problems to cars and as well as your vehicles make sure again you're protecting those as well tornado risk today it's not too concerning but there will be a couple of tornadoes today most of them will be on the brief and weak side of things so overall again not too concerning here across the southern plains but the main concern again damaging winds and large hail that is going to be a bit more of a numerous concern today all right the timing for today we're going to see showers and storms weaken out later this morning into the early afternoon hours across oklahoma that is from that initial cluster of storms once we go throughout the afternoon the storms don't stop there they'll be basically going on all day but it will develop at different times so they'll start to develop back over in the texas panhandle and as well as the oklahoma panhandle right around about five o'clock or so maybe a little bit earlier than that and then these will start to move off to the east and they'll start to intensify producing damaging winds pretty significant across the texas panhandle and as well as large hail with a perhaps a brief tornado and then by dinner time we'll continue to see showers and storms primarily across the texas panhandle somewhere around kansas and then eventually going closer around 9 10 o'clock so closer to bedtime there will be storm activity across southern kansas and a large chunk of oklahoma a lot of this will be again damaging winds but we could see a little bit of large hail out of it tornado risk will be very low to zero by this point by midnight storms continue to roll through oklahoma and as well as kansas and then eventually going closer to the morning hours tomorrow all the shower and storm activity is below severe limits for the most part maybe an isolated severe storm back over in southern missouri or, or arkansas but again severe weather much lower chance by then all right as we go into tomorrow scary storm saturday we do currently have a fairly large area of severe weather again that is why i'm talking about a huge storm here we have another slight risk of severe weather this goes all the way from the ohio valley back into the high plains the main concern as we head into tomorrow will again be damaging winds and as well as some large hail pretty much the same outlook there but when we look at the tornado risk it's a little bit different here we're going to be watching more for a low-end tornado risk in the high plains this is where again a lot of storm chasers are so it's a better environment there anyways to see that tornado risk but as of right now the low-level jet will be a bit stronger over here we have more ingredients in place so there could be a couple tornadoes over here but the overall concern of a significant tornado threat right now is extremely low i'm not really concerned about that it's more of the brief and weak type variety all right timing for tomorrow storms will fire up around the afternoon hours across areas like colorado so early afternoon that's when some storms will start to fire large hail is the main concern with most of these storms and then eventually as we go into the late afternoon hours more storm activity fires off across colorado with damaging winds large hail being the main concern and then eventually going closer to midnight more storm activity starts to collapse into oklahoma fairly similar to what we saw this morning but probably a bit more disorganized and eventually as we get closer around 6 a.m on sunday storms will be really just collapsing down into areas like texas louisiana and arkansas with damaging winds still being a possibility there for those back over in the ohio valley in the midwest storms will actually fire off really early i mean these are gonna be kind of coming overnight and going into areas like missouri and arkansas so there could be a bit more of a long-lasting area of storms back over into areas like kentucky and tennessee during the morning hours by the afternoon more storm activity will develop but again not really any organization with these storms we're not really seeing like a defined cold front where storms are just firing off everywhere that's not what's happening it's more of just really scattered storms that are just firing off in a very large area so these will be fairly disorganized but large hail damaging winds a concern which is why again we have a low risk of severe weather right now in this area and eventually as we go into the overnight hours storms move off to the east and weaken quite quickly then going into sunday the risk for severe weather seriously shifts off to the east we're gonna be watching for a potential for a low end threat of a severe weather outbreak across the eastern half and then as well as the southeast united states stay tuned for more details on this but the marginal risk of severe weather still exists across the great plains so a very large area of severe weather on sunday as well more details on this in our next forecast thanks so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already